alien life, extraterrestrial life, breakthrough imminent, as scientists predict when humans will make such a discovery. An astrophysicist noted, the latest breakthrough space technologies like the James Webb Telescope could play to have a pivotal role in discovering aliens in the near future. A Swiss astrophysicist predicted humanity is on the verge of discovering extraterrestrial life, adding that new technologies could help allow the breakthrough to occur within 25 years. Sasha Quantz, an astrophysicist at Switzerland's Federal Technology Institute, ETH Zurich, remarked that the instruments currently being built around the world could pave the way to answering one of humanity's biggest questions, are we alone in this universe? Speaking at a press briefing, he detailed the technology projects under development at his university, adding that over 5,000 exoplanets or planets outside our solar system have been discovered so far. He said, in 1995, my colleague and Nobel Prize laureate Didier Le Quelos discovered the first planet outside our solar system. Today, more than 5,000 exoplanets are known and we're discovering them on a daily basis, he said. There are reportedly to be billions of exoplanets that have not yet been discovered, particularly as astronomers believe that each of the 100 billion stars in the universe has at least one planet orbiting it. According to Dr. Quantz, this means that there are an enormous number of exoplanets waiting to be found, many of which are just like Earth, spinning at the right distance from their host stars to enable conditions for life such as the presence of liquid water. He said, what we don't know is if these terrestrial planets have atmospheres and what these atmospheres are made of. We need to investigate the atmospheres of these planets and we need to have an observational pr approach that would allow us to take pictures of these planets. This speech came as NASA's James Webb Telescope, JWST, captured stunning images of a giant, a giant hot planet nearly 400 light years away in a transformative moment for astronomy. The spectacular picture captured by NASA's eight and a half billion pound telescope show a scorching hot planet six to 12 times bigger than Jupiter in what are the first images captured by the James Webb of an exoplanet. It's named HIP 65426b, the gas giant is thought to be 15 million years old and more than 900 degrees Celsius on its surface, so it's a young planet, 15 million years. The James Webb Telescope was also able to catch a glimpse of the planet, which has been compared to a candle flame, as it's over 100 times further from its star than Earth is to the Sun. And within just a few months of being unveiled, the telescope already has uh, instrumental uh, it was instrumental in a string of breakthroughs in exoplanet research, including detecting carbon dioxide and water in the atmospheres of several of them. Dr. Quantz, however, warned that the James Webb Telescope, currently the most powerful telescope ever deployed, it also takes pictures in infrared, thank goodness, it's not yet powerful enough to detect the exoplanets that are similar to Earth that tend to be much smaller and orbits closer to the respective stars so that water could be found in liquid form. He said the HIP 65426 system is a very special system. It's a gas giant planet orbiting very far from the star. He said this is what Webb can do in terms of taking pictures of planets. We will not be able to get to the small planets. Webb is not powerful enough to do that. However, new instruments are already being deployed Developing, developed to fill the gaps left by James Webb, as Dr. Quantz and his team are currently working on the mid-infrared ELT imager and spectrograph METIS, M-E-T-I-S, which is a first-of-its-kind instrument that will be part of the extremely large telescope ELT. Currently being built by the European Southern Observatory, ESO, in Chile, ELT, once completed towards the end of this decade, will consist of a 130-foot-wide mirror, making it the largest optical telescope in the world. Let's remember the Arecibo has been destroyed. Now, Dr. Uh, Quantz continued, the primary goal of the instrument is to make the first picture of the terrestrial planet potentially similar to Earth around one of the very nearest stars. He said, but our long-term vision is to do that 
not only for a few stars, but for dozens of stars, and to investigate the atmospheres of dozens of terrestrial exoplanets. And this is by Antony Ashkenaz on Express UK. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.